Here we go. One, two, four, eight, sixteen. It's a very primitive chart. The binary code is a six number digit repeating pattern in the decimal system, one, two, four, eight, seven, five. This is considered the binary code. This is computer switching. They call it on and off. But I've already said zero is not the member of any multiplication series. Okay? Zero and one cannot be the computers of the future. It just doesn't work. That's why they're so slow and obsolete. Okay? And this toroid system is the supercomputer. But I'm just showing one point, which is the score. Content versus quality. If we have one point here, what is its content? One. So there's your quality to the right and content to the left. Got it? Now we have two. Two points here. What's their content? Two. Does everyone understand that? No. What's their quantity? Two. Okay. And what's their content? A five. Now we have, that's what a reciprocal is. I'm not paying attention really very well. Okay. Now we have four. One, two, three, four. And what's their content? 0.25, which equals a seven. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Okay. It's not 0.5 and 0.5 because we're only looking at each one. There's four, one of these. Okay. And each one of those four represent 0.125. No, they represent 0.25 if you're looking at the top. So one, two, three, four. It is a pyramid. It is. I'm showing you that the binary system is a pyramid, but it's a pyramid that is not binary. So the, on the right is. If anything, it's. On the right is the branch number, and on the left is the, uh, yeah. the, uh, um, the, the value of, of, uh, yeah, of, the, of the function. So you need a little contraption um, that makes a little zippy that is designed off of the holy name vibration? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> One, five, seven, eight, four, two. That's all harmonics. That's all it is. Doesn't it? It's like an antidote. <laughs> well, you can hear electricity when you're walking down the street on the pole. Zapping has a rate and a frequency. Well, All right, so they're doubling circuits in reverse directions. So these doubling circuits, again, are significant. Okay, that's all I was pointing out. Okay. Then went that chart. What's the 27 polarity reference? All right. I showed the vortex in, out, last but least point, which is not going to be, I showed the 2 and 5 is not accident, as long as we're on these charts, I'm showing the vortex action, I'm showing how it moves in a vortex, I'm showing infinity, it's just a cosmic grinder, okay, I sh I'm showing the music scale, classic musical scale is the doubling circuits too, from C to C to C is 1, uh, 128, which is 11, which is 2, 256, 13, 4, 5, 12 is 8. It's the same thing. Your doubling circuits. That's, I said the ancients did know this, and that pretty much sums that up right there. Okay. 5, 1, uh, 2, 128 is 11, 2, 256, 13, 4, 5, 12, 8, 1024. 7. Remember, 7 always comes after the 8, not before. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Okay. Do you have that, Sunshine? No. Okay. I'm out of position, so I should take that real quick. Real quick. Okay, pull your chair a little closer. Yeah. I think we need like a mental doggy bag to take some of the comments. Yeah, really. Yeah. That's no, just squeeze her in the middle. Actually, take a second and let's make sunshine squeeze in here. Okay, there you go. Not too far for you. Come close enough. Intellectual enzymes. And turn your chair a little bit like this towards me. Help her, sunshine. So how come all these brilliant okay, people haven't figured this out? Because they're using ones and zeros instead of nines. Well, that's the whole. There's, there's, there's and stuff in the literature about uh, groups uh, mod nine. I, 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 I know there is, because I've, I've worked with it in, in group theory textbooks. But there's I've nobody that could... I've never seen it done like this before. There's no... That's right. This yeah. is a different kind so of this process. This is really, really rich territory for mathematics, at least. That's, that's what I see. So it's a whole new yeah, frontier. Very rich. 
But, you know, I just don't know whether if you got a, a real good number theorist from some university would say, oh, that's just, I did that last year. I've never met anybody. I, there ain't a teacher around who's ever seen this before that can explain it. But the, there's parts of this that are, that are uh, uh, the ideas are pretty standard. I mean, like, one, like three, six, nine, you know, subgroups. It isn't what they already know. It's the fact they've never unified it. Right, right. Never been, I haven't ever seen it like this before. Yeah, yeah, right. That's the promise. They can't see what the universe is doing. They say, oh, maybe it's expanding. Maybe it's going to keep on going forever. Maybe it's going to collapse on itself. They don't know. Okay, I do know. This, you're going to know with this. Okay, go ahead, Judy. The Turing model. Of the what? The Turing. Okay, I would have liked to apply this a lot to computers, but did you get that point right there on the music scale yet? I can't mm. even see that. You right. know what? It's the cycle. You per have. Second, you you, you got to keep. Say what it was. You got to. I will. Uh, so it's by thirds. No. I'm sorry, I can't see. Shh. That. I know. I I'm sorry, it's not your fault. The chart's too small. That's, if I go bond, that's I'm going to say right? it again. It's got a resonance. Yeah. And so the resonance is a certain number of cycles per second, right? Yeah. So he's got down there, there's 256 cycles per second per C. If you add 2, 5, and 6, what do you get? You get um, 13, which equals 13, 4. and 3 plus 1 is 4. And 4 equals in the equation of all of the things that he's explaining to us here. Um, what are the other That's exactly what right. are the other numbers that you 512 have? is your next C, which is 8. And you know 4, there's 8. And you know 7 always comes after 8. And the next C is 1024. So 4, so what? Uh, go 4, 7, 1 again. So 4, hmm? we go 4, 7, 1 again. Four, eight, 5 seven. comes after 7. So, okay, so sure enough, we got 2,000. 48 is the next frequency of C. 2 and 4 is 6. So 8 and 6 is 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. Right Does so that okay. work with the others? Uh, with A and uh, you know, the other octaves on the... They're the same, the same distance. Actually, everything that I'm explaining, I'm not a musician. Yeah. So I've never even written a paper on how this relates to music. Because you see how much there is already that we... And there's yeah. so much. I actually am hoping that sunshine... I hate to say it's sunshine, but I'm retiring after this talk this evening, and you're going to have to do the work on explaining it on the music scale, because musicians could be a whole group of people that you could be teaching about the number nine and how it relates to um, metaphysics and divinity and things. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm just giving her the next... I'm just giving her a, an Uzi. It works for So... It does work It does, because 220 is the low A, 440 is the high A, the next one up. And then the doubling of that would be, um, what, eight, uh, well, it's 17, the electromagnetic 60, field. 6, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. That's pretty powerful now. So when we listen to music and they say it's the wings of the, in the, in the, in the Baha'i scripture, it says it's the wings of the soul uh, to the heaven, Four, eight, to the, the, the <laughs> spiritual wings. So it really is electromagnetically in harmonics. Now, I'll tell you something that, um, uh, we have a question here, but I'll tell you something that Alistair did say, and he was exactly right. He said that, um, no, I forgot. <laughs> he said that, that the harmonics, oh, I forgot. Oh, well, you were right, Alistair. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I, so it kind of sounds like what you're giving us is like the theory that can be applied to every part of our culture, yeah, whether it's science, math, um, music, uh, religion, it's basically, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's the thing everybody's looking for. I'm right. giving you your attache case. Yeah. Yeah. In every field of science. Just, just watch just out for the gun that shoots backwards. Astro, yeah. yeah. It's like you have this in most Greek. The reason. Giving us the reason. That's right. That's right. That's really correct. Thanks. The meaning of life. To ask the questions. Why do we live? What is our purpose? What is our goal? Where are we going to? Where, what, where did we come from? How about this for an idea? Can you're talking about the nine, the six, and the three. Oh, and so when the nine is positive and the six and three are both negative, uh, uh, some friends of ours that came from uh, Los Angeles uh, spoke, they were Baha'is, and they were explaining how 
um, two people that are in love, if they are focusing on God, they're like that. little mirrors, and they're reflecting the light towards God, and yet if they're focusing on themselves or each other too much, then they're not reflecting the light, and they're not getting anything either from God. So if you're, you know, if you're dwelling on yourself too much, you can't be uh, absorbing any of this good energy, which is also like this, because when you think about it, these two things that are negative, they're actually receiving. That's right. And also, if they were positive, they're actually X's, which means X's is like negative, in a way. Positives are negative, you know what I mean? You're, I don't know what you mean, but I know you're completely right. I don't know what you mean by X's, well, but you're exactly like right. They a are receiving. It's like an X. It, hmm? a, po a positive sign, like a cross, is like an X. Right? So it means you're wrong when you're actually thinking that you're so good not to be receiving. Like you should be receiving from the so higher energy. So you know receptive. what I mean? You've got to always be tapping and receiving. You've got to hold on to it completely, even in your sleep. That's right. You've always got to, it's called your invisible cord that connects you. Uh, you and you don't want, you always want to be able to be focused and at your epicenter, focal centers. Be an athlete when you're moving and you're exercising or when you're praying or worshiping. And the highest form is to know the name of God and intonate it and touch into that vibration. Um, what you just said is really right. Another example is um, like when we look out on the ocean and the moon's on it, and we see the sea of 70,000 lights. They look like little lanterns, but we know in reality they're all reflecting from just that one moon. Okay, they, and they're all, and the only time we see that little reflection is when those facets are at the right angle. It's like a Swarovski Austrian leaded crystal prism. Okay, they're, the, they're, the crystal glows and has a fire on it because the facets are all, all focused, they all have the epicenter, they're all prismatic, they're a mirror. These numbers, everything I've really come here is about to turn into a prism. Behind this sheet is a prism with an immense facets. And Charlie's seen that prism, so he knows what's going on. And, um, and you're about to see it too. Before we go to that prism, was there one more thing then that we should cover? Um, I just want to say that I cracked the code to the Enneagram, but we won't try and do it. You were going to talk about the Turing in computers, but I honestly think that the best application of my work is to computer sciences. That's why I'm going to be speaking at the Maui Computer Center. And maybe if you have the time, you'll come. I'm a little frightened that most of them won't understand what I'm going to say. If you don't come, it's fine. Only thing is, is that there is no board here other than me showing a few fractals which you were interested in artificial intelligence. I don't address the computers. Um, I do address it. I don't do it is the difference. I didn't make these coils. There has to be computer inventors and programmers and softwares that are going to have to do this. I don't, have the, I don't have the resources to start working on computers. If I had a laboratory, if I had a budget and an office and all that stuff, I'd be applying it to computers and technology. A lot of people want to apply my work to that. I do have the answer, but so I'm not going to jump into the touring right now. What you're going to need is a bulletproof vest. <laughs> That's what you're going to need to stay safe. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. I've, my guy. bulletproof vest, do you know what it really is? You're going to say something, Judy? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but I feel bad saying that I didn't go into the touring. So say what you want to say no. about the touring. When you showed the binary system it was a one, two, and seven, uh -huh. it, it immediately, hello, you know, it's like it doesn't work, and there are no zeros, and how, how smart do you have to be to see that? Yeah, I know, it's shocking. I mean, that's, I mean, no. That, because what they're doing is they're teaching, they're saying things in science and predicated on things that are um, fallacious, and it's just amazing. In other words, they are, um, they are fudging. Don't rub your eye too hard. Okay, now, here's the thing. Um, if you're worried about protecting yourself, then you don't have the time to be doing other things. So, I've ignored that issue too. 